Good morning. So today's video is going to be about what I do outside of fitness that makes me me. Um, I try to keep this video pretty short. Um, so outside of fitness, I like to participate um, with nonprofits to help raise funds for veterans um, or I like to share my story with veterans um, to maybe improve their quality of life uh, if they've ever been through any kind of traumatic or um, experience or adversity or anything like that. Uh, I like to go to um, facilities where um, people are locked up, like so I go to a prison or a jail um, and be able to speak to the inmates uh, and share my story there as well because um, it wasn't all that long ago that I was <clears throat> I was behind those walls also um, so I just want to show people um, that it is possible to change their way of life from uh, a very negative situation uh, to a very positive situation um, I'm always trying to um, maybe uh, better my community you know wherever I go I want to leave it better than I found it so I always try to put out that positive energy um, amongst my peers around kids uh, I try not to curse in my videos so that way like if I have a, a younger crowd that's uh, paying attention to me that they know or that they see that you don't have to um, it doesn't have to be about uh, being vulgar uh, to get a point across or something like that. I mean, and that's fine if other people do it. That's just my my way of uh, how I get my message across. I'm not saying that I don't curse. I'm not saying that I don't use profanity. But as far as on a public uh, platform or um, whatever you want to call it, I try to keep it as clean as possible so that uh, the younger generation can be able to also see the process that um, that I've go that I I'm going through that I'm undergoing because um, I wasn't always able to um, uh, how do you say that keep my emotions in check and I feel like being extremely vulgar is like kind of in my opinion, uh, losing control of emotions to allow just flexing those emotions too much. So that's me. Anyway, <clears throat> um, I also like to have a good time. I like to support local, um, anything local with the community that's positive, whether it be uh, bands. Uh, I like, I love music. I like watching my friends play music. I have a few friends that play music, and I really enjoy going and supporting them. Um, and whenever I go, they play in bars and stuff like that. And uh, I go and I just, I get a, I call it a loaded water, where it's a real pretty water. It's got like cherries, oranges in it, lemons, limes, and I just drink my water. You know, I go out there. When they're done, I'm done. Whenever they're, they're packing it in, I go home. You know, so, but I like to support my community. I like to support my friends. Um, I participate in the community the way that I would like, or I support my community the way that um, I like my community to support me. You know, and that's how I've gotten support along the way uh, is, you know, do unto others as you want done unto you. So if you're putting positive vibes out there and you are participating and showing up and arriving and doing what's necessary, uh, being selfless, being humble, um, being generous. Um, it doesn't mean you have to go and like donate all kind of crazy money or, or, or anything like that. It's just taking time to um, be there for people when the people have events show up. Um, just participate. Yeah, I like to participate in these events. I like to 
um, show community support. Um, you know, I love I love my community, whether it's in Louisiana, here in Florida, you know, wherever I'm at, I like to support my community. I don't care what where where it's at. You know, if I have friends in New Jersey, I do my best to um, support whatever event I have a friend doing, you know, or, or whatever. If they're um, doing some kind of crazy race or challenge, I do my best to put positive vibes out and show any kind of support that I can. Whether it maybe even, it might be a $5 donation, it might just be as much as uh, sharing their posts or... Um, um, spread sharing words of positivity, you know, like trying to, you know, making that positive reinforcement of showing them that you care, you know, um, and trying to get them as much positive feedback as possible uh, from, you know, because sometimes that's what people need to move forward, you know, or whatever. They're looking for a little bit of just outside influence to, man, somebody believes in me or whatever. And that's what I, that I like to do things like that, you know. Um, cause I know whenever I'm doing crazy stuff and, and, and things like that, it's a, a big morale booster to have that support from your peers. You know, um, I'm a very goal oriented per person. I like to work on my goals. I like to visualize my goals in life. Um, I like to interact with people. Uh, I like to, I love to help people. I love, it's just no greater feeling in the world than being able to help somebody and see somebody take value from something. I like to do podcasts. I used to hate doing these videos. I absolutely hated doing these videos because I fear judgment so bad. I have this nerve damage in my face that I'm sure plenty of y'all have seen how my, it, it kind of cocks to the side every once in a while or whatever. Well, that's me, man. That's, <laughs> that's just who I am. You know, like, I can't control whenever the uh, nerves start jumping in my face and stuff like that. And that's fine. You know, that's just, that's, that's what makes me me. I used to fear judgment of that. Now I smile whenever I do it. Cause like, I'll even like, <laughs> I even laugh at myself. Like sometimes I won't even know what I'm laughing at. And it's just that, or you might not know what I'm laughing at, but like whenever I see myself in the camera, like talking to, uh, doing a video like this and I see my, my face tweak out <laughs> or whatever, I'll start laughing. So like I just did, but you know, so um, you have to have fun with um, insecurities, man. You know, that's one of the things that I'm trying to be more vulnerable. Um, I want to spread my, uh, share my message and, and things scare you. But you know what, you know, fear is, that's one of the things I like to work on also is like fear. You know, uh, fear is an intangible. You create it, you can destroy it. Opposite ends of the spectrum. You know, you got two things. It could be really bad or it could be really good. And fear always can hold you back from going further in life. So uh, once you identify it, it is correctable. It's no longer a problem. All you have to do is the work, create a solution. Um, got a little bit off a of path. That's not what I was exactly talking about. But so... Um, I think that about sums it up. I think we'll go ahead and wrap it up with that, man. It's, we're at eight and, a half, uh, eight and three quarters of a minute all the way through. So I appreciate you listening to my video. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, watch my content, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you got value out of this, please share it. Uh, send it to somebody else. Get somebody else to subscribe, you know. Um, I don't have a whole lot of subscribers on my channel, but I'm very grateful for the people that I do have. Uh, the more people that I can talk to, uh, the better. Um, if you have any questions about anything, never hesitate to reach out. Um, you can always reach me through Instagram, at Jeff Spira, or you find me on Facebook. Um, and it's also, again, it's Jeff Spira. I just changed it. I moved my middle name out of my Facebook name, so I'd be easier to find. So it would be more in sync with um, my Instagram. So if you can, uh, try to push that out, help me, um, get my reach out a little bit more. I really appreciate it. Um, again, thank you all for listening and I hope y'all have a great day. Go out and crush it.